It's a life or death struggle that always ends in death. It occurs hundreds of thousands of times every year in Canada, and most of us don't even realize it's happening. Every winter, from coast to coast, and from the prairies to the Arctic, our Canadian wolves, coyotes, foxes, beavers, badgers, lynx, and even our family pets choke to death in killing neck snares. So why is snaring still happening? Is it simply out of sight, out of mind? Is there actually still a demand for fur? Who's doing the trapping? What regulations are in place? And perhaps most importantly, why should you care? Protecting our native wildlife goes hand in hand with protecting the remarkably diverse ecosystems we are so fortunate to have here in Canada. While trapping for fur has played a big role in Canada's history, does that mean it should also be a part of our future? Should our governments continue to support commercial and recreational trapping? Are there clear economic or conservation benefits? And is trapping, and in particular snaring, still socially acceptable in the 21st century? These are all questions that the Exposed Wildlife Conservancy, in partnership with the Fur Bears, will be exploring in an exciting new investigative documentary series beginning next year in 2022. This ambitious project will combine our more than 80 years of experience in wildlife advocacy, storytelling, and video production, and will take us across the country, interviewing trappers, biologists, indigenous leaders, landowners, and wildlife advocates as we explore the history of trapping in Canada and its relevance and acceptance in today's economy and society. And this is where you come in. We need your help to tell this story. Your donation will be put to work immediately. Researching and filming this series and exposing the realities of trapping in Canada. Together, we can make a difference protecting our wildlife. Please go to thefurbears.com slash trapped or exposedwildlifeconservancy.org slash trapped to learn more and make your donations today. Help us reach our fundraising goals to shine a light on this critical issue and inspire others to improve public policy. Thank you for helping give our wildlife a voice.